So to say that this is an excellent gourmand fragrance would be to say nothing. This is arguably one of the best gourmand fragrances, not just of the fragrances manufactured by the company Zerzhov and many of these sister brands, but in the world. I think there's something really special about Italica with that toffee note or a chord in the heart, the almond in the opening, the vanilla that's residing in the dry down. This is such a beautifully delicious fragrance and I had been telling myself that eventually I would acquire a bottle of this stuff and it's finally in my collection. I can't tell you how happy I am about it. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on Italica by Casa Morati, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's video and I give you my thoughts on what is arguably the best gourmand fragrance ever, I know there is some competition on the market but I definitely want to give you my honest and in-depth thoughts on Italica. I want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and make sure to click where it says enable all notifications. A lot of people are saying that they don't get notified when I upload a video. I would love to be able to change that if it is within my power. Hour. Give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoy it or if you learned something from today's episode that lets YouTube know that you like this type of content. Hopefully you see more of it in your feed. I do want to mention that if you're interested in purchasing this fragrance, you may do so at fragrancebuy.ca. I've been looking around recently and I noticed that they actually have it for a really, really good price at the moment. If you want to get the 30 mil like I did, obviously it's going to be a bit more inexpensive versus the larger size and they do ship their packages out very quickly, excellent customer service, and they always seem to be running promotions. So given the fact that it is the holiday season, they're probably running one now, so make sure to take advantage of it. And with that being said, let's get on to the video. Now, I'm a huge fan of the brand of Zerzhov. I've been a huge fan of them since 2011. I have, I think, close to 30 bottles, if not more, from not just Zerzhov, but Sospiro and Casa Morati and some of the other sister brands within that larger... Zerzhov umbrella. And here we have one from Casa Morati. I actually do own a bunch from this as well. I have Mephisto, Mephisto Gentiluomo, and I also have Lira, which I've reviewed in the past few months. Today we're taking a look at Italica. Now Italica has saffron, almond, cedarwood, sandalwood. There's this lactonic accord in the opening. It's a beautifully delicious fragrance. And if I could just take a moment to read what's written on the spine of this packaging here. Beautiful packaging, by the way. Love the graphic on the front, the maroon color with the golden accents. It says saffron and Sicilian almonds are blended with whispering silky milk notes garnished with bourbon vanilla and buttery toffee all combined with rich layers of cedarwood sandalwood and white musk. So as you can tell there's a few sweet ingredients there are some woodsy ingredients and kind of like this lactonic indulgence that covers everything up. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. Now, of course, I've referred to this fragrance as a gourmand fragrance a number of times already throughout the course of this review. And as soon as you spray it on, you will be immediately delighted. It's going to confirm all of your hunches and suspicions. This is as sweet as sweet could get. However, it never enters that juvenile territory, which I think is a good thing. And I think it really all depends on where that sweetness is coming from. If it's this sort of confectionery cotton candy type of a sweetness, a lot of people would feel inclined to say that it does smell a bit childish or juvenile. And thankfully that's not the case with this fragrance. There are some other darker notes in here like the saffron, the cedarwood, the sandalwood, and perhaps even that musk that's residing in the base. What I really enjoy about this fragrance is that toffee and vanilla combination. So you kind of have like the salty caramel kind of a vibe in the heart. And it might remind you a little bit of Lira by Casa Morati, basically another fragrance within the same catalog. There are a lot of other caramel based fragrances out there. I know Prada Candy is another one. This one of course does it in a much richer, more robust 
fashion. I think the vanilla, the toffee, and that spiciness of saffron in the opening really makes this a unique fragrance unlike any other fragrance from the collection. I know Overture by Sospiro is another fragrance that tended to be a little bit on the sweet side of things. And even more recently, Tony Iommi Monkey Special also has a bit of caramel in there with a lot of patchouli. That fragrance tends to be sweet, but not as sweet as Italica. But what I really admire about this fragrance is the way that it takes that sweetness yet keeps it very sophisticated at the same time. I think this is a very difficult thing to achieve. I'm sure that very expertly composed fragrances done by really well done uh, perfumers and very knowledgeable perfumers, they have a way of doing it so that it does come across effortless. But I think once you put a little bit too much of a sweet element in a fragrance, it really could transform the aura or the vibe of that fragrance. So I really admire the fact that there is a bit of darkness in here, but not too much that it offsets the sweetness in a negative way. I think there's a really nice balance of the woods, that saffron spiciness, but also the sweetness that is coming from the almond, the toffee, and the bourbon vanilla that you'll find in the base. This is such an amazing fragrance and I smelled it many, many years ago. It's been around for a number of years now and I've been telling myself that I will get it eventually and I'm so glad that I finally did because now is 100% absolutely the best time of the year to wear this one. I always crave my darker, denser, and sweeter fragrances right around the fall and winter time. And so now that the temperatures have dropped considerably, I'm gonna be wearing a lot more of this fragrance. And I do have only a 30 ml in my possession, but I'm gonna savor the experience. I'm not gonna wear it every single day, but I know that whenever I do wear it, like today, I'm gonna enjoy it thoroughly. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now first, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is totally a unique fragrance. As I try to make comparisons to other gourmand fragrances that I have in my collection, despite the fact that there are a lot of other caramel-based fragrances or toffee-based fragrances that I do own, this one smells totally different, definitely in a league of its own, and you can find it on fragranceby.ca for a really good price. So definitely take advantage of that sale while it's currently going on. Overall smell, incredibly pleasant. In terms of the longevity, eight to nine hours on my skin. The projection was amazing for the first 45 minutes of application. It did radiate within an arm's length. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour four and a half or five. Right around hour eight, it became a skin scent. In terms of the versatility, perfectly unisex. Anybody of any age can really enjoy this one because of the sweetness. I think somebody who's a bit younger would enjoy it, but because of that spicy saffron in the cedarwood, somebody who's a bit older would enjoy this one as well. I think this one can be worn casually or formally for as long as you can get it for a really good price. If you're purchasing it at full retail, of course, it's a nice bit of coin that you're gonna be spending on it. So I definitely sympathize with the sentiment of if you're gonna pay a lot of money for something, you wanna save it for special occasions, but I think every day is a special occasion. So just wear this one whenever you want. These are just recommendations. Don't take it to heart. But this is a very versatile fragrance. Colder weather, however, is the best time of the year to wear this one. So fall and winter, I probably wouldn't wear this one in the summer. But then again, I don't wear a lot of gourmands in the summer either. And in terms of the presentation, I love the presentation. I think both the 30 mil and the larger size look rather nice. My final verdict on this fragrance is it's one of the best gourmand fragrances of all time. If you've never tried Italica, you really owe it to yourself to not just try it, but give it a really nice full wearing so you can truly experience the magic of this fragrance and really get a, a concrete sense of what it's all about. Italica is amazing. Please, if you do find the opportunity to sample it, don't neglect it. Thank you so much for watching. That was my review of Italica by Casa Morati, of course, under the Zerzhov umbrella. If you own or have tried this fragrance or any fragrance from this brand, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also leave a comment down below and let me know just what is your favorite gourmand fragrance? Is it something else? Have you tried Italica? Is it Italica? Do you prefer Lira from the brand? Leave a comment down below, let me know. Also, please don't forget to support the channel by subscribing to it, hit the bell, Give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.